Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and uh, today we are back on another kind of review thing that we've got going here. So in the last one we were reviewing a game that someone sent me and once again today someone else has sent me another game. They actually sent me it quite a while back but it's been put to, to one side unfortunately. Now this is something that looks pretty interesting if I'm honest and it's called Mega Sports. Now basically it's a 2D game and it has football and basketball. It seems pretty simple from now on. So the game is mostly about single player, but most likely online multiplayer will be added too, which is something quite unique, you know. You don't normally get that in many Game Maker games. Um, it's quite hard to do, but uh, that'd be pretty cool to see. Uh, the AI is not finished yet, so the demo, you'll experience the free play mode. That means the hole is empty, you'll have a limited time, and it won't count scores. When in free player mode, you can teleport the ball into your hands by pre pressing F1, or you can pick it up if you walk to it. Right, so how to play. You can move around with the WASD keys. If you pick up the ball, your cursor will be placed with a cross on the floor. Uh, that is where your character is aiming the ball. Hold down your left mouse button and move your... What? <laughs> Hold down your left mouse button and move your cursor up or down to throw the ball bigger. Okay, I'll have to test that. Uh, you should see a yellow line by doing this. Not quite sure what that means there. But now uh, look at this. You see, this is what it looks like. And, you know, to me that looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, that looks like some pretty good uh, graphics. Now... Only thing is, is there any glitches or issues? And this is what the multiplayer cover looks like, which is once again pretty pretty cool. Um So let's just let's just give it a go, I think. That's all we've got left. One thing I did notice when you boot it up is you get this um it, I think it's Game Maker eight, you know, the the old game maker sort of thing come up. Let's turn down the volume. So obviously multiplayer isn't there. Let's have a look at the options. Outline doesn't affect performance. Filter doesn't affect performance. Bloom affects performance. So we're going to turn that off. We're going to put everything basically as low as possible. So you know, the graphic, the obviously my laptop's pretty low spec, so it should run it. It should run it all pretty well if it's on lowest settings. Fingers crossed. Okay. So we have the ball. Uh, it is slightly laggy, but that is probably just because we're recording. I wouldn't really concern that. Would, doesn't seem to be concerning. Okay, so movement feels pretty fluid, I'd say. Um, oh, okay. So we can choose the power by uh, doing that. So what if we? Okay. Right, so I can see quite a fair bit of skill coming into this to try and get that in. Is that on the height then? Let's see, so if I do it up to... Ah, that's it, okay. So if I... Uh, let's just give this a go, fingers crossed this will work. If I go here, line that up, up to there. Okay, no, that won't, won't always work. Oh, okay. That apparently counted. That was a bit weird, you know, for me. I wasn't exactly sure that's how it's meant to work. Um, it it did kind of glitch its way through. So let's go along here. What I'm really, really confused by is this bit here. So this appears to be ED. Who knows? Uh, it could be electric donkey, but then it has my logo here, which is rather peculiar. I don't know if that's the same for everything, or I've, who knows what's happening there. But as you can see, there it kind of glitched outwards here, and then back into the hoop. You know, that's. Let's see if we can. Yeah, and that one, <laughs> that quite clearly went underneath and then still scored. Hmm not something I'm massively concerned about, it's just slightly graphical. Also you can appear to kind of aim downwards, it's a bit weird, you know, I can go down and that apparently makes it stronger or weaker. 
Uh, again, little minor things. Now let's let's see. Do we have football? See, hmm. I thought there was football in this. I'm pretty sure that said the uh, in the thing. This includes a football and basketball. I'm not quite seeing the um, the the football side of things, unfortunately. I'd like to, to test that one as well, but um, don't know. It might be in the game, just not accessible in the demo or something. I'm not sure. I think really it's quite a hard thing to judge whether it's uh, a good or bad game without having the AI. Now, obviously, that's something that if you've not worked on it you may as well have a better AI in you know I may as well have a better AI than a worse AI I would much rather have that but um, also it appears if I if I do that and then I don't know it might be my imagination but um, one thing I would say, you might want to implement um, after you've done the AI, obviously, would be to have a um, kind of sprinting mechanism. So that instead of just walking everywhere, because in real games, you know, they're not going to go, they're not all the players and they're not going to go all at the same pace. It simply doesn't work like that. Um... So maybe just implementing that quickly. Another thing I would say is that I love the the actual graphical style. It's pretty nice. Only thing I don't like in this particular thing is this floor sort of tile thing. Um, it doesn't fit for some reason. I think it's it seems to be a higher resolution than all the other things, which I may be thinking. I recognise it, so I may be thinking that that's one of the default game maker ones just a, a thought that might not be um so yeah just uh, maybe try and fix that quickly I, I don't think that would be uh, too much of an issue I want to test something else actually as well because I think when you exit I'll just show you quickly if you go back into single player yeah these change here on the back so they obviously that's the guy's logo that's sound pro whatever that is <laughs> muck energy they might just be fake ones he's come up with i'm not sure but i'm I, all right let's just do a summary basically obviously it is in very early alpha that's pretty obvious to be honest it's quite you know it's quite dumbed down at the moment Obviously, we didn't see the football, so we can't really judge the football. But based on the basketball, I think the core functions are very polished, pretty much. Just that shooting. Um, maybe try and edit that slightly so it'll only take in from a certain angle. Uh, not quite sure how you'd do that, but maybe after you've done the AI, obviously, you could do that. Um, another thing to say would be change those floor tiles as and when you have the time. Once again, the the AI should really take priority over that because at the moment I can't really judge that as a game, more like an engine. Um, but once you add the AI in, I think you're probably on track to have a pretty cool game. You know, something that's probably ready to go on Steam once you've, especially once you put in multiplayer. Multiplayer would really make it um, pretty awesome, and I really love the art style as well, which. I think uh, overall that's a really good game. Just add in that AI, um, add in that multiplayer, and you're set to go pretty much. Uh, so, anyway, guys, that was my review of Mega Sports. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do what you guys want to do. And I will talk to you in the next one.